something. They look into eyes. It tells you the country is hard. Doctor is now coming here. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Moby! Yes, I don't want to take off the car. Because just outside the one lady tried it and she got the shock of her life. You know that ladies do, they see in a cap, they say, oh my god, I like your cap, they put it on and walk away. One lady tried it with me just outside here. She said, oh, 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 wow, I like your cap. She took it on. Hey! Oh, my god, get it, get it, get it. What's your husband? I said, hey, me, I. I don't have a big forehead. Hello? I don't have a big forehead, so I'm not going to marry a lady with a big forehead. Hello? Yes, we are supposed to give birth to little kids. Not little mountains. I come back from home and be like, why feel? I find a toy. Webby. Everest is where that. Oh, okay, my cat is here. Oh, yeah, big boy jogging. Oh, okay. No. I can't. But let's talk about music. How many of you love Ghana music? Who is your favorite musician? Strong man, strong man. Okay. <laughs> my favorite musician is a match lady. Well, back in the day, my mommy would miss my dad and she would sing an match lady song to my dad on phone. You know that song? The song was like, Ye 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 me no me ni do nyan sanye, e ti tu kwasi, ma do tu mi kumusu. Me who be painting? Me see coming for me to India, bro. I saw two pieces here, so I see some swan, me jump in one day. Me in a panther return, oh baby. Let's go cross together. I say what? A kuma return. I'm crossing for what? What? A day ma? Sweet song. Now a day song you can't sing to your girlfriend. How can you approach your girlfriend and say, baby, I want to sing for you? Why are you ready? Make him be your mom. Make him be your mom. Don't pat to pat her. Scoots pat to pat her. Seal that to pat her. Scoots pat to man. Killing the innocence of that. That cap to the papa na ko don ko don man. That that zet zet na ko don papa na ko don papa na ko man. I'm not to swim. I'm not going to swim. I'm not to swim. But I think Ghanaians, in fact, our musicians should be grateful. To the Queen of England. I don't know if you agree with me. Because of late, they say so many stuff in our songs that if this stuff were translated to Chi, they would never be able to say it. For example, somebody has a song called Rich Nega Shit. <laughs> Rich Nega Shit. Imagine I'm probably doing the Chi version of the song. Like doing the hard life version of Rich. Nigga, she. I want you to give me a hand like, like, pa, pa, pa. Let's go. Ah. Of course, it's tough for you. Ah. Let's go. Lance. So, go to my bed. Oh, this car. Me, me, I'm going to be a kid. And don't see. But my day is never going to be. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a and the master manager in Kusuna was the candy meeting. No, where's the chief for rich nigga? And somebody on your day, Mr. Day, was the candy meeting. Me too! Hello? No, you should be very good for the English language. Like, you see a lady go to a broken heart and go like, oh my god, oh my god. Pami is such an asshole. <laughs> like maybe one of them. Pami, Pami is such an asshole. Bring it to Chief. <laughs> I won't say it. You say it for yourself. <laughs> you see some gangsters. A gangster like, yo man, she, she, I'm the baddest motherfucker. <laughs> Let's bring it to Chief. This is how I say it. She, Billy! I'm the baddest motherfucker! My 
person say something. And then accidentally, saliva from their mouth. Lands on your head. And for some funny reason, you all have to pretend like it didn't happen. You are looking at them, she knows. Say I didn't tell. You think you know it's there. But you are like your desire. And then 
this thing now you guys were watching for? What? Yeah, where's Venus? The past girls call it with a blue vest, but that's not. Why do you guys wear that thing? See, let me tell you from a guy's point of view, guys, we don't care. Hello, guys, how about I? We don't care. There has never been any guy in the history of Ghana Minor who has ever gone to the room with a lady and said, Ah, Adra, come in you. But we're fooling to you. If you're a guy, you've done that before, just with no guy. I'm a kid, but we're fooling, we're fooling. See, you push the stomach somewhere, fill it out, and put it back. You say, Adra, go on. We don't have time. And you guys wear that thing. And it puts some stress on you. You may tell me she can't be like,
In Nigeria, a minister was said to use two million dollars to clear grass. <laughs> Excuse me, grass is two million dollars and we are praying for grace. <laughs> we should just stick with grass. So we are seeing magic. I've been to Accra several times, but it's almost two years since the last time I came. And then I came to Accra this time. By the way, your airport is so beautiful. <laughs> No way. Up to no way. 
Somebody said, exercise a lot and drink water, it will work. We did not that, it didn't work. Until somebody recommended a book, Jehovah's Witness book, Awake. <laughs> My friend entered coma. I don't know how 
the one election, say one or two most popular political parties you have here. And what? MPP. Okay, let me just use the name of the flag. The Nigeria is PDP and APC. And so during the elections, there is usually one party bring and then the other one is opposition. They always bring laws that will counter the other one. So this last election was APC. So the government was APC, they brought the law. Nobody should place any poster as far as Lagos is concerned. Just so that the opposition party will not place posters. So it was a law. Nobody was placing posters. Two weeks of the election, MPC started placing posters. Political level. The next day, PDP joined. <laughs> so you are coming out in the morning, there's an MPC poster. Afternoon, PDP go cover up. <laughs> so eventually, we too will join. Evening, church crusade. <laughs> Night, comedy show. We paste like posters everywhere we can post rebels. One man now was working one day, two more posters. The man man thought the whole posters, everything became confusing. So when you're driving, you're reading one information, everything is mixed up. You're saying PDP, vote, APC, a day white life. Get free, miracle. <laughs> the child came to me and said, he said, Uncle, can you promise me? I said, promise you what? He said, money. I didn't have any money, so I asked him a simple question. What school do you attend? He told me his class. I said, what was the position of the last exams? He said, he came 29. I said, out of how many? He said, 30. <laughs> so to avoid him, I said, go to school. Try. And it's first to talk. Come back, I will give you something. This last time he came back, he said, no, I don't carry it down. I said, how did you do it? He said, I changed my school. <laughs> I said, I don't as much. You can't be in a school. First second, you are coming 29 times. How many are you in your class? I say we are three. <laughs> I say that's us. Say look at it. They wrote dot, 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 dot. You are having in the class and then the teacher comes in. Who can tell us a domestic animal? One boy from your house said, Auntie, I say yes, can you help us? The boy said, dog, sir. Auntie said, beautiful. Sit down. She asked, who can tell us another domestic animal? People were missing her. You were that simple or something. Anti I, I, anti I. You say you again? You say you again? Tell us the name of another domestic animal. Another dog, sir. <laughs> that first dog, I mean. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Even such as this is, they now select where they go to sell. Because it's almost as if security is personal. So they were recruiting some soldiers that I was watching TV. They posted the first soldier. When they post the soldier, we salute. You were there. First soldier, Sergeant Rufus, DK, Ghana. You guys want to show us, sir? Sergeant, you find Chuku, South Africa. Show us, sir. They posted the last one. Sergeant, Mumuni, Lawar, Afghanistan, retired, sir. <laughs> I don't know if you guys said there's a rumor. I don't know if it is true. America is about to sign an everybody with Ghana that when they check your profile and it is crime free, you might have a visa free to America for one month. If no, I'm not serious. <laughs> when you don't watch this, <laughs> Google it. Everything I tell you is fact. Google it. Fact. It's online. But I beg America. That would be the greatest mistake they would do. Because when Nigeria said that, that's why you see Ghana passport, Chioma Mensa, <laughs> Emeka Freebound, he came to Kufo. You don't know anything. <laughs> you know there's a tribe in Nigeria they call the Eagles, they are very nauseous. The average woman can market water to a fish in the fish we buy. One of my friends came back home one day. Hey, big guy! Came back with clutches. I said, What happened? He said, My brother. He said, You are doing pro. I said, But you're working. He said, No, the way to go and advertise the thing, I couldn't say no. I said, So you bought clutches because of advert. He said, My brother, that boy talked to you, you buy coffee. <laughs> The economy is so tough, you can't do only one business. You must attach with something else. That's why these days doctors in Nigeria have become smart. So you say 
have to open hospital, open mortuary. If you don't survive, you will die. The money will still come. <laughs> you know, there's a place they call Abai Nigeria. Igbo guy is very nauseous. In fact, the Igbo guy has the ability of the Chinese man. You ever ask a Chinese man one day? You know, the Chinese man, every time you talk about it, what they think about is production, production, production. I asked one Chinese man one day, do you know Jesus Christ? He said, mm, no. But well, you show me the sample I produce too. <laughs> And so that's how the evil man is. An evil man is the only one that can sell you a song. The same song three times, you will notice. I was driving one that was having a very popular song. That had me. See grace, how sweet that sound. I wanted to be. From this side, I said, I'm here. I'm a free grace, I see that sound. I wanted to be from that. He looks at this man, he says, 
Do I know you before? You say no. Have we met before? Even when you have met, you will not meet again. Show your <laughs> Have we met before? You say no. You say, well, can I tell you something? Can I pray for you? You say yes. I don't know. I see you in the realm of the spirit. I don't know what I'm seeing. I see you driving. I see you trekking. I see you driving. I see you trekking. Don't worry. If I drive, reach my house. I don't go trek like that. I see you driving. I see you trekking. I see you driving. I see you trekking. Then he looks at the second one. The Lord is about to do something new in your life. You hear the choir? Do something new in my life. It's just a fluke. They are not part of it. Then there's one that's magical. He acts like he's telling you a thing. Then he leaves you halfway. You now become the one making come back. That's to complete the hustle. So he has something like, young man, last week you were somewhere. Uh -huh. How can you not be somewhere last week? <laughs> last week you were somewhere. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> then once they add a song to it, they are gone. So yeah, last week you were somewhere. And the Lord is telling me, Thank you, Jesus. Aka, aka, ya. Aka, you know what you are saying, man of God, talk to me. Talk. There's nothing to tell you. Yeah. Oh, if I'm not for Jordan Magician. Yeah. 